Defenders, Shopify Rebellion versus Evil Genius is here today with myself and Fog. I think this co-op could do a lot of work. It can be a little bit volatile, but... Uh, and Fog, well, we're going to have a right bit of away. blood action straight into the play. Crit's gone down. All right. Nice. Good start. Oh, is he top lane, Matthew? He's sneaking. Uh, hiding in the trees just to see if he can get some sort of... The blind stun. This time round, Arteezy did have a fair bit of strength already in preparation. And Matthew now. And they, they can turn towards him. And with the adaptive strike, he's trying to duke around through the trees. And they'll get him. Matthew goes down. First pick every single time. It's quickly become one of those first two picks during this tournament. It just it wins you every lane and just does so much. And they're going to go for the edge. If they can get fly. Nice little pushback, but it's still not enough. They've got him. They got him. Nicely done. If they can't kill the morph, they'll, they'll definitely go for the Enchan Tristan. Rune's being checked. Mikey's just going to blink oh, he's in. in. He's going to jump in aggressively, knowing that he's got the backup of Crit. Crit. Be able to hold back C Smile. They'll drop the Sonic Wave. Matthew comes too. I mean, Mikey's still falling low. Put the Fairy Fire, but he's not able to survive through this. As Mikey goes down, C Smile able to stay alive here on the high ground. Finally gets popped by Crit. I see Crip with the stick charge is also able to keep himself alive. The backup's in from Fly. Another stun thrown out from Matthew. They're trying to take down this pesky Shadow Demon. Crip across the trees, but he will get found. Panda with the final nuke takes him out. Panda. Oh, the poison stack. It will not be enough to kill him either. Uh, he's going to live. And Matthew gets to walk it off, get back under the tower. And Matthew maintaining wall control of this mid area. <laughs> and the stacks, as we mentioned, for Saberlight, even though he does die. He has, I mean, he's done, honestly, he's done pretty well in the lane anyway, all things considered, since he got super counterpicked, and he does have stacks to go back on. Top. They get him again. Oh, they do. They catch him with the stuns and the whisper. It feels good. It tramples all over Arteezy. And yeah, they're just tag teaming with the two supports. A crit. Fly. And they're going for the setup because they get, he's going to go straight towards Fly. If they focus the Enchantress first, take them out, the Sonic Wave will be there. Pretty much uh, heading on to, to the, the four of them, it will be enough to take down Panda, but His won't take down TD. anyone else. Now Mikey's in trouble. As Whisper closes in, grabs him with the Pulverize, Ooh. that's Mikey dead. That is not worth it for Mikey. Not at all. EG is making some beautiful rotations. I mean, every single time it seems like they just bring the numbers and Shopify, they're looking to just farm and catch up. Okay, I've seen a lot of these Morphlings when you play versus Primal, you turn into him and you trample on him. So, actually not going to be the case. So, difficult for them to bring down Whisper. He's unbelievably tanky. I mean, they're waiting for Fly to come over as well. I mean, Arteezy has to be careful. Matthew's going to head in. I mean, Matthew could be in trouble as the three of them will focus the line first. Jump forward okay. from Mikey, they take him down. What the heck? Oh, let's see if they can find this panda. Not going to be able to do anything to save Whisper. So Good rotation. Two of them. A huge rotation this time from Shopify. They're going to get another one. If they can find panda here beyond the tower with the four of them. Yep. They can. They bring the numbers this time and they manage to make sure they come out on top. Not able to deal with that amount of pressure. Out with the smoke. Mikey and Crit. Chris. <sighs> and Picard is here now, but Matthew, he's just going to run straight in. He's going to hold them back with the, the Hex and the Stun. He'll oh. drop the Sonic Wave there for Matthew. Mikey weren't having any of that. What the? I mean, probably unnecessary. <laughs> they can punish that too. Now they're going to know that there's no Sonic Wave. It's a big amount of their damage early game. When you do look at their draft, most of it is going to be coming from that Quap. Saberlight is here. Trying to go aggressive onto Chris. Mikey blinks in. And look at this ult here from Panda. The damage being done. They have to use the roar to stop the ult. As the Crystal Maiden will fall, but they've lost Mikey again. The lasso's up and ready. As Chris, he drags back Fly. Picard, he's looking for his target. Whisper, Whisper. Straight across. Over towards the back lines. In on top of the Beastmaster. They take down the Beast. Double kill for Picard. I mean, Mikey. He's being way too reckless. BKB done. Matthew already prowling forward. I mean, Mikey blinked in on this. Mikey. He blinked in. So he easy in BKB trouble. and a lasso. There'll be a oh. bit of time here with the disruption from Crit. Mikey will manage to live. He's able to blink oh. out. Sonic went to push back Chris. Doesn't matter though, because he actually ends up being the one to get the kill on Mikey. So if anything, it just works out even better for EG. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake there for Matthew, but as you said, ends up better. Uh, and of course, with the involvement in the action, uh, decently so in levels, right? We've got, what, level 16 on Picars uh, compared to level 14 on Arteezy. So about a two-level difference. This will help. They're fine, Chris. Good kill. A needed kill. Mid, though. Ooh. TP's coming over. Pulverize actually makes the stun miss. He's going to have to put the BKB to survive this. Panda, he'll be the one to get left behind. But Mikey! Oh, Matthew's going to step up and in Picars. He's in onto Mikey! 
They take down the Quap. And Pekaz, we'll see if he's able to back out of this one with the remainder of the BKB. He jumps over towards the safety of Matthew. He, he, indeed, he's able to walk out. So again, Pekaz just able to turn up. Get, get these big kills against the enemy cores and get out alive. I mean, Mikey's just getting tank killed every time he's up. Doesn't get a big it's kill. Been rough. Kills a support or something like that, but then pays with his, with his life every single time. And yeah, Picard just continues to be set up for success. 5 0 6. I mean, was it 5 0 6? Honestly, just playing a perfect game right now in the PA. Shopify, this feels like a move that they have to get. They and, have to get this rush. And, and they they'll, they'll get away with it. They get the rush, they get that age just secure for Arteezy. Can they fight? So they'll try for Whisper. I'm just going to be able to come in on the side with a stun, a burst Big down kill. the Whisper with the Sonic Wave, and RTZ will be able to clean up Panda on top of it. They get the two kills here for the Morph. A massive one. The BKB was still on cooldown for the Primal. They needed these kills. They needed this rush they to slow down the momentum. Because is just so massive. Picard's BKB and Desso now done. Level 17 as well. He's almost 18, Owen. Oh, Ooh, whoopsie. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, uh oh. That's a misclick. Oh, that, just a bit. And um, he'll die for that one, Matthew. Okay, right, that's a pretty big mistake. Picard somehow is able to sneak away with the blur. That could have actually led to some chain feed. Yeah, it's okay. a smoke that gets revealed, and now Shopify, they can smoke themselves and get the jump. Sure. BKB's coming oh, up for a dizzy. Mikey. Full aggression here, pops the BKB, jumps in to take down Matthew. We'll get him. Panda. Crit. Great aggressive wards. They're going to go aggro here. Whisper. Yeah, crit. Thinking about the setup, Arteezy's gonna go for Panda. Pretty much able to take him down solo there. That's that ward, Vision. Crit gets the ward down and they quickly make the jump. They honestly, Whisper almost goes down too. If they get the uh, Demonic Purge onto him, it could be another kill that they can set up for. Uh, but that, that's really started to just grind to a bit of a halt. I think the whole game is gonna pretty much be up to how much Picard can do. Sure. What's Picard's the RNG gonna carry. be like? A Whisper. He's gonna get in with the BKB. Arteezy immediately puts the BKB himself. Picard looks to get the back lines with Chris. They'll be able to take down Crit. But the raw, it holds back Picard momentarily. Picard is ready to go again, though. Jumps towards Stabilite. Stabilite pops the BKB. RTZ turns into the Primal Beast, knocks Picard back. The BKB now pressed by Picard. Jumps forward to Mikey. Matches him with the control. They're focusing the Queen of Pain. Picard, he's able Big to get place. the kill. Double kill for Picard. Dagger in towards Stabilite. Jumps in. Triple kill for Picard. See if they can get more buybacks come out here from both Crit and Matthew on each respective side. They're looking towards Picard, but not really a lot that can touch this PA right now. It's Picard, he's ready to go back in. Jumps for our top. The waveform and the charge is there to create good distance. Arteezy and Crit, they'll back away from this. He also has Titan Sliver, a pretty big pickup for Arteezy. One of All the right. better items you can get on Morph. It's a good wrap around here. They're getting onto the high ground, EG. Arteezy's going to try and jump in. Picard, he's going to go straight for Fly with the he's Roar. There. They've got the Roar, they've got the Sonic Wave. That's uh -oh. the job well done there by Shopify Rebellion. They've killed the PA, and with that, there's no fight to be had for EG. They've got to run. And they can just go straight into Roche afterwards, too. They want to try to find another grab. Arteezy. Using the power of the PA uh, against EG here. Turns into... The PA gets the daggers out. Panda, got a go stepped up. He has got the ult. We'll stand his ground a little bit, but Mikey's in. In fact, they're maybe thinking about diving more. We'll see how much they want to dive here. Oh, they sure they, are. They, they're absolutely going for this. Beyond the tier fours, they're diving in big time. As they take down Matthew, four dead oh, on no. EG. I mean, it, re it just collapses completely. Lincoln's back up, but BKB cooldown because 58 armor on RTZ. Whisper, is that going to go in? Though. Get the last one to Stabilite, jump forward as well, but the Stunning Wave will push back Whisper, take down Chris. Whisper trying to run away, but the rule there for Stabilite helps to finish him off godlike now for RTZ. They surround Picard, Picard, he's got nothing to survive with. It's a team wipe. It's too much for him. Oh, Ooh. wait, what? Oh, I mean, they call it anyway, but... Maybe his internet just went out. Something I mean, happened. I think both heroes have their merits, being able to play versus each other, it's just who's able to get ahead. Usually TB is able to get ahead earlier versus the Morph. We're getting some Morphling action again this time on the other side of things. Uh, starting off the action though, Arteezy, he's in trouble. He's going to get chased down and EG, they'll start off with a first blood. Oh, it was Whisper, they're able to take down Arteezy. Oh. Now TP's going to be coming in, Chris could be in trouble now. Cookie, they There's got the him. setup. Fairy fire. Is it going to be enough to save him? Swash in two. Is it going to be enough, though? Uh, Chris, Mike? Is, Chris is trying with the Jukes. Matthew's here. He might be able to turn it. Oh, he's, he's in, indeed in with a blink track onto Mikey. And yeah, Chris is going to be fine. And Matthew is going to be able to take down Mikey. All right. The and Scatterblast is still Chris. not quite enough. He's still alive here. Chris is going to be able to get some bottle charges here. 
In fact, oh, what he's going to turn, charge straight across Crit. He's out of there. And with Whisper heading over, they might even be able to threaten Crit. We'll see Matthew and Whisper. Actually, they're, they're locked out of this one as Matthew not able to deal with Crit. Uh, when Arteezy's also there by Crit's size. The, the physical damage, the right clicks from Whisper alone are never going to be enough to threaten Whisper. the blade. He gets pulled in. I mean, TPs are coming in. Not the pulverize, but already Whisper's gone. Arteezy. We'll end up going down and uh, Fly as well, potentially in trouble here as the numbers have turned up from EG. We'll get the heals off Fly. Let's see if they've got another bit of a jump in a second from Matthews. They want to get under this tower. They're going to go on him. Yeah, they'll, they'll charge in and they'll claim him as well. Good nice. response there from EG. Nice mango from Panda. He throws it onto Chris. Chris was out of mana, pumps him up for the dive. I mean, they'll have the answer later on from the Doom, of course, when he can eat the Ancient, well, but early, not so much. Matthew Eight. takes a, a trip across the mid lane, but he's super low hit. He's tricky. So Mikey can find him with his haste rune. He can. He can. And down bottom, Whisper. Hanging around the tier one tower, but he's, he's rather low himself. We'll see top lane Chris getting in through the trees. We'll be able to get the catch on to Saberlight. And they slam him down, but back down bottom. It's another kill for Mikey. Swings across and helps them to take down Whisper. And, and they'll get the tower here. I mean, this is, this is rough here for sure for Whisper. They, and yeah, they're going to get this tower already which is almost finished up, so Shopify, they want to hit. They have Kisses available. They have Rolling Thunder. Let's see who they can set up on. It's going to actually be EG that go for the move first. They'll get aggressive on to fly. They'll take him down. We'll see if they can get out. Chris trying for the TP, but the damage is too overwhelming. Ooh, not worth it. And Crit, he wants more. They see Matthew. And right on top of him as well with the dust. Whoops. We'll be off the mark with the Scatter Blast, but shouldn't matter. Cookie connects. And Shopify. And clean up the two of them. Double kill for Saberlight. Panda. Quite connect with the cookie. They're still in with the shield crash. They'll turn because. the macro pyre. A great macro pyre here from Panda, burning through pretty much the three of them. Saberlight. He'll be able to get out of the fire and TP away. But Mikey and Crit just getting completely burned. Completely baited by Panda. Now looks like EG might want to fight here. They're fully scouted. Mikey gets started. Another try and turn with the cookie. It's there to break him away from the path of Chris's charge. As Mikey's still alive for now, now Arteezy turns up to stand strong against him. And beside his side is Whisper, caught by the Rolling Thunder. Arteezy ready to turn towards Chris, but the BKB is there from the Primal. And taking out the two supports here, EG. We'll see if they can get more. Arteezy is going to be able to step aside as Saberlight heads in with the ultimate. He's trying to get over towards Whisper himself, but the Ice Path, it will catch him. Holds the Lycan in position momentarily. Shopify still considering if they can get anything from this, but they already the charge is there from Chris. He's immediately over towards Mikey. Mikey will turn with the diffusal to try slowing them down. Picard shifts into the morph, uh, from, from the morph into the bango. Radiant are scanning. They're losing their top tower. Not the biggest hero to find. It's going to be the Enchantress, and in fact, Fly, he's able to live for, for a pretty long duration. Will still go down, but it's given time for the rest of Shopify rebelling to turn up and maybe get some kills in return. It's Mikey. They have the control onto Panda. Panda will fall. They lose the two supports, though, on the side of Shopify. Oh, and the and sleep dog. They get Mikey. That's a gem if they can finish him. They're able to stop him from getting out with the TP. Matthew with the body blocks, keeping him in the cloud. Oh, a huge Christian kill. The pulverize. They'll be able to take him down once. See if they can set up for a, a second time round here. Oh, they sure can. Get the roll up off Mikey. Swashbuckle as well. He's living a little longer, but the sleep dart's back up. They'll indeed take him out a second time. And Matthew, yeah, he's a full nuisance. That, that. Oh, another setup. Our TPs are coming in. They're going to try and do something to punish this here, but Crit, he's gone. Arteezy steps up, but he gets clipped by the ice path. And Panda, he's able to catch the macro They're on him as well. Arteezy's in trouble. He's just straight up dead. Uh oh. It feels good. Perfect catch there from Panda. The ice path into the fire as Arteezy burns again. Three dead on Shopify Rebellion. They'll find Matthew. But here comes Picard. Well, Mikey holding the two of them back with a rolling thunder, but Mikey and, and Saberlight, they have to run. Shopify. Gotta look for the fight. Get the thunder up, but Chris, he's already in with the charge. He's straight on top of Crit. Crit's gone. Mikey's got a bit of control on a Picard, but Picard's still with plenty of strength to play off. Waveforms up to the safety of the high ground. Shopify Rebellion, they're trying to focus down Chris, but the macro is laid down by Panda. They're all broken. Pass through if they come into it, and Arteezy's in trouble. They get the jump on to him. Arteezy's dead. They've taken him out. Chris charges in again. It's four oh. dead on Shopify Rebellion as they're just losing back-to-back -back team fights here. I Chris is turning up this game. 11-2 and 8.
They commit onto this Primal Beast, but I, I'm waiting to see the fight recap to see his damage. And they even get the Team White Mikey. Oh boy. Also ends up getting caught here by Whisper. They are falling apart completely in this game too. One down enough to- Rush fight. Steady kills back in action. Yeah, Crit's gone. Arteezy's caught by the Ice Path. They're putting everything onto Chris to take him out. And this time they'll get it. They killed the Primal Beast. It's a big kill. Let's see one more they can find, Shop of Fire Rebellion. Instantly the Ancient gets eaten. Whisper says thank you. Four versus four, Whisper. He's in with the jumper, Matthew. He's in on the high ground as well. Gets the smoke cloud down onto the two of them. Picars focusing Sableye. Burst with the damage to strike. Panda catching the two of them with the ice pass. Sableye's dead. Media buyback from Crit. He wants to get back over to the fight to help out. Picars steals the stats from Arteezy. Let's see if Mikey can go for a steal potentially. They have Kisses in five. Arteezy. He steps up, but he's going to get jumped. Nice pass there. They're going to look to burst through the Terror Blade. They've got the control. They've he's got the down. burst. The damage and the silence. He can't do anything. Arteezy dead, the Kiss is coming in onto Picard, but Picard is able to keep his distance. They blow up Mikey, both cores dead on Shopify. And soon to be more Whisper taunting around here with Crit. <laughs> that could be it. That feels like it just might be EG. Well, that, um, One where Shopify feels like they needed to get. Arteezy's just so slowed down time and time again in these all these last fights. He literally just has Lincoln's Manta. They're just going to get the racks free and go mid. Shopify feeling that there's no way for them to take a fight. And Mikey, it's just uh, going to yep. get cancelled. TP put to a stop there. <laughs> and he's and actually going to get gone on. He's got Chris with him as well. They can go aggressive onto, onto Mikey. Pulverize. Mikey's gone. Just too much here for Shopify to deal with. Because steals the stats. He's in. He's in aggressive. Take him down. And there's the AoE Doom here from Whisper with the Axe. RTZ's gone, no buyback on him, he's out for a minute. As Mikey, he'll buy back. But this defense is going to have to be done. Without RTZ, he's a thousand gold short of the buyback. They're diving in for more, Mikey will roll forward. I'll back off a little bit, see if he can control Chris. The BKB's up from Chris, Sableye tries to chase, but the Ice Path catches him. They're desperately attempting to bring down at least Picars or Chris, but Picars, he's out with a waveform. Chris, he's just going to trample back in aggressively towards them as Chris will fall, but the space is there for them to press this rack slow. The backdoor protection I mean, will kick back in, actually. Whisper's ready to jump at a moment's notice. I mean, Matthew's already in the base. He's getting in on them. They'll jump in with the Doom towards Fly. Fly will still be able to walk to the side. They'll jump down towards the south instead. Get on top of the bigger heroes. On top of Arteezy. Whisper in with the BKB and that AoE Doom causing too many issues for this Terror Blade. As Arteezy dead without buyback, of course, with the spend up of the Scardi. Two heroes out. No buybacks here from Shopify Rebellion available. As EG will get back onto the base. Continue the push. The refresh will be popped here by Chris. The second round of the BKB. Jump forward again from Whisper. In with the AoE Doom, uh, AoE Doom onto Mikey. It's over. Did, I think, own on it. So, EG, they've got a really heavy pressuring draft again. And they're playing around two of their best supports. Honestly, Panda, last game, his Jakiro was like a bait multiple times. Got the turn that every single one of these team fights after dying. And Matthew, we've seen what he's been able to do on his Ricky. I, I like what EG's got going for themselves right now. Oh. And this is looking like a first blood. And they give it a whisper. It's able to take down Fly. Good kickback. Let's see if we can get him. Well, he's got the back of a panda. He's going to have to lasso Chris. And we'll mean that he's able to, to secure the kill on Crit. And Chris, he's out. He's over the cliff. He's away. Shopify, they have to turn their attention towards a different kill. They, they go for Panda instead. Mikey gets six. Might be able to get another one. Oh, nicely playing around the edge Matthew. of the Dream Coil. Fancy. But uh, still will die. Ends up uh, lasting too long. Have enough lockdown, they'll get him, but they don't get Chris. Chris gets away. Uh, Picard, sorry, would be huge for Shopify. And yeah, Saberlight, I mean, he's getting, the, he's getting it prepped. He's ready to wrap around. They get the kickback into the Malefist. They're up upon him. They'll use the rod to try and bring Saberlight oh. a, a fair distance away from Picard, and it's enough to not allow Saberlight to be able to continue to lock down on this lone druid. Picard will live. That was a mistake by Saberlight. He had Arcane Boots up. He could have Arcane Boot Blackhold instantly. He actually could have just gotten the kill there on that on that bear again. I mean, now they're having to fight a bit too close to the tower. They will get Panda, but the backups come in for EG. Matthew jumps forward. With the help of the bear, they'll get crit. They, I mean, yeah, they could have gotten Picard there, but a good move either way. The bring, the bring down there. Shopify bring an extra hero. Yeah, they have to fix a bit of what's going on here. Arteezy is actually so far behind now at this point. He's 800 gold behind Whisper. Whisper is 6. He's actually the one who's going to start applying pressure on the tower. 
So even though they are making these good moves, it's, it is hurting that top lane even more. And now Fly, very likely to die. See Crit turn up and try and help out, but Fly will fall. Matthew jumps forward as well. They'll catch the two of them in the Dream Coil. It's enough to take Matthew down. But, but Crit, Chris, he's burning. He's got Panda by his side, ready to take Crit down as well. Double kill for Chris. Arcane Rune on Bat. So it's gonna be a reaction. Fly is the one getting set up on. Mask of Madness on the bear. And Crit is gonna try and help out here. Rolls across. Nice mech. Heals there to keep Fly alive, and now they can maybe look to touch. Here's Chris. That's gonna be there though on Stabilite. Chris straight away. Oh, that was a black Wait, hole! What? Oh a no. black hole, he tries to go for it, but it's immediately put to a stop by the fact that he's dead. And, uh oh. And Chris, I mean, Chris is he's diving going very for far. He's, he's gonna get him. Fly. Oh, won't. He can't. It, he can't. Flame break. That'll do it. I mean, it's a double game. Might even be more. They're gonna get crit. Holy crap. Oh, they are crumbling there. Shopify Rebellion as EG <laughs> just completely crushed them. I mean, Chris. Perfect lasso on a saber light, but yeah, saber light making the call to still try and drop the black hole. Matthew, I'm left. I'm gonna try and get in on this EG. They jump and fly. He'll he'll be left alone. They won't try and fight back at this drop of fire belly. And Chris, that's the pickoff they need. That can allow them to go for the rush. All they need is one. And Chris, he's maybe thinking for more. Tumblr's toy to dodge the roll from Crit. He's got the lasso. Now try and shield. kill the secondary support. There's an aphotic shield, but the dragon tail's there to follow up. Crit caught by the fear. Both supports, Ooh. Shopify taken down. Arteezy may be in trouble too. Can he get away? I mean, Matthew's there watching from the side. Not an easy fight I for mean, them. It seems like it's going down too quickly. EG, not able to do much about this at all. Shopify Rebellion. Now find the opening to get Roche, get the Aegis. Nice play. To Arteezy. Oh, and maybe look for they get the Dream Coil here outside of the base. They're on the cars. The Roche, but they go straight for, for this and into the oh, back. The oh, they've got the two of them. It will get put to a stop though. Nice path for Macropire laid down on the boat, Fly and Sabrelight, Chris on top of them here with a BKB burning through the two of them, they'll both fall. They get Picars, but losing two in return, Mikey tries to push up the more, but the Dragon Tail's there from Whisper. We'll catch on to the park. They get Chris. See if Arteezy can head over towards Matthew and Whisper in time as Matthew. They've got the detection upon him, or no, no, they haven't, he's actually able to jump to the side, he's back under the sentry. And he's Mikey not. will find him. Wow, Mikey. Being up there from Mikey, the setup. I mean, they see Chris for like a second and Mikey's already setting up on him. He's gonna try to force BKB. I mean, if he doesn't use it, Chris's gonna roll on him. BKB's there for Chris. He's actually gonna play aggressive. Gets him with the last, they've got the follow-up Dragon Tail. They'll punish oh, Mikey, they'll put an end to his kill streak. A fair bit of money for Chris. And Chris, with the remainder of his BKB, TP's out in the trees. Chris gets the kill and gets out. Whisper, BKB's back up in a second. Might be forced to use it himself. Those rotations are coming in. Let's see, see if Sabrelite wants to black hole for this one. Oh, oh no! Took a little too long to think about it there. Oopsie. Shopify though, absolutely feeling strong. As we've seen multiple times if they're grouped up around, rallied around this Abaddon. Oh, and they're gonna get the jump on Picard. See if they can help him out inside Picard. We'll manage to get the off. Sabrelite's in with the black hole. This time around, able to catch both Picard and catch Chris. Chris? He's gonna live though, he gets the chance to get the BKB off as the black hole comes to an end and he goes straight over on top of the Enigma. Sabrelite falls, BKB from Whisper, Panda holds back the two of them with the Ice Path. The bar time popped here by Arteezy as he heads towards Whisper, Whisper with the rest of his BKB TP's out. Panda will not escape though. I mean, back to back to back, they're getting Picards. They just get right on top of him. They're gonna be the ones who smoke now, looking for their own fight. Yeah, they wanna, they wanna go whilst this black hole's down. Sure do. Whisper. But he's in with the blink, but doesn't really find a, a target immediately. I mean, Chris, he's going to go straight for Crit. In with the lasso. This spell. I'll take enough. Crit down. Difficult to go for more, though, EG. The Shopify, they're still looking back at them. In fact, they get the jump over towards Whisper. Whisper's getting low. He's got the BKB off. Mikey. Ice Path is going to catch Mikey. They've caught Mikey. They've taken him out. Links forward to poke. I mean, he wants to play aggressive. He's going to have borrowed time back up in less than 10 seconds, so he's ready to fight. Holds back up too. Crit. Caught by the ice path. Jump forward for Sabrelite. He's in. It's a three-man. A very, very nice three-man black hole here for Sabrelite. The follow-up's there from Arteezy. They'll be able to clean up all three kills. Oh my god. Sabrelite. That's what you need to see here from your Enigma. He doesn't even have the BKB. It's just the blink. He just went for it. And he finds literally the perfect three targets. And Roche, it's up. Stable out there, securing them three kills and the Roshan. Ages into the hands of Mikey. BKB's on cooldown. Eight seconds. Whoever shows here, Crip, will be straight on him. 
It's gonna be Panda. Oh, not gonna look for the Whisper, wait, what? He's gonna look for a bigger target. Find the, the jump, hole. there's the black off from Sableye, catching the two of them, Crit with a perfect setup. Getting Whisper grouped up with Panda. They'll take out Panda. They won't quite be able to kill Whisper, though. BKB is off in time, and Chris will try for the last one. It's immediately taken off, though, with the Aphonic Shield thrown down onto Sableye. Two for one at this point. Because I hit, they just kill his bear. He doesn't have a resummon for 30 seconds. And even, yeah, Mikey, he's 25 now. So Dream Call pierces immunity. He's six slotted. The bear. Just tickling at this point. I mean, Artis is in onto the bear. Bear starting to fall low. Impetus is as well. That will do it. That's the first bear got. See the BKB from Sableye. He's going to make the jump. He's going to go for Chris here with the first black hole. Controlling the bat rider, but the BKB was off in time and looking for the second black hole here. Sableye, but he gets caught with the bash. The bear's in on top of him. Doesn't matter. Still gets the black hole off. Catches the bear. Catches Chris. Chris is gone. The bear down for a second time. Sableye still surviving for it all. Dodges the ice path, protected by the aphonic shield. He's out of the base. And he's back to safety. Whisper's trying to chase him. They're coming out with the buybacks. Two buybacks so far. Sableye, he'll live. Whisper couldn't finish him off. Mikey's diving the base here. The third buyback to come out here from EG. But they're getting forced all the way back to the fountain. Arteezy, he may even be ready to dive. Pots the Manta style. They're diving them in the fountain here. Taking down Chris for a second time. Picard's out without buyback. Same to be said for Panda. It's down to the final two of them. Just Matthew and Whisper alive here in these final moments potentially for EG. They'll get the sleep set up onto Arteezy, but even if they take him down the once, he's still got the Aegis. And yeah, Saberlight absolutely coming in clutch. Now he knew in those last moments. Just had to deal with Chris on the bat. Matthew, he's out for good. Whisper as well. Taken out of the game. Everybody dead on EG. As there it is. GG is called.